Hello my Capricorn friends, it's Guiding Halo here and this is going to be a general snapshot reading for whatever comes up in this situation. For my Capricorn friends, be July 15th to 22nd, it could resonate all the way through to the end of eclipse season because we are in eclipse season. Too many cards, I'm going to take them anyway. We got the star, we got the eight of pentacles and the nine of water. Say, look at this guys. So we have healing we have happy times make positive optimistic long-term plans you're on the right path skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic and then we have your wish comes true concerns fade away a love of life so someone's buckling down and getting the work done here my friends good job after believe after possibly a time of healing so this could be an offer that's coming to you to finally be able to chew and bite into something that's going to take you for the long term see what we got here passionate messages coming in not sure what to do about those passionate messages coming in no not sure at all what to do about that all up in your head about it it's happy times make long-term plans could have something to do with a soulmate who has broken your heart before or you've, you're coming out of a broken heart before someone who's been in and out of your life but these messages someone could be in and out of your life trying to tell you something uh here for a business venture oh i'll help you do this all this and then off they go not sticking around this is not someone that sticks around they're all about whatever's passionate befalls them next it could have been the soulmate you were with and had a broken heart we have the queen of cups here all about sitting in your heart space all about wearing your heart on your sleeve saying listen you broke me you hurt me i'm not going back to that nonsense and then here comes this new new cup that you get to fill but you're still not sure about what to do about that either i see a lot of confusion going on we have the virgo card here the hermit i think you'll be going inward to find out about what you should do with that said confusion and a wish all of a sudden granted on the outset of all of that the seven of cups not sure what to do not sure what's going to fill your cup but i see you walking away from that confusing confusing emotional stress and anxiety and the worry i see you walking away from all of anything that brings that to your life right to go to what your nine of cups and we have this pentacles here two of pentacles about finding balance you've been juggling a lot of things and i think you're tired i think you're really weary emotionally worn out tired frustrated even as to how to deal with what's going on here and we have a tower moment. So you walking away is going to create a tower moment for somebody. Someone's going to make an offer and you're going to snub that offer. Either that or someone's going to walk away from you. It's going to take great strength for this walk away, whoever's doing it. It's not going to be easy. The divine working in the background. The divine's got you, my friends. Please remember that. The divine's got you. And we have the Eight of Pentacles buckling down, getting the work done. I think this whole thing is the work that you're doing. There's a truth coming in. It's an ingenious idea the Divine is going to bring to you, kind of like on a breeze. It's a new start. It's a new, new way of thinking and a new piece of wisdom that's going to carry you for the long time. Yeah, my Capricorn friends. I don't know if I said Taurus in this reading or not, but I hope not. I know you guys get upset about that. And then we have the Emperor, who very well may have his eye on a single lady. Someone who's just concerned about building her money and her finances. Perhaps this Emperor is going to come in and help you work on this ingenious idea. And it involves this person here this ingenious idea. Let's find out what ties these two things together. What's the big kicker here? What's the deal? What's the divine got for you? Why are we going through all this in the first place? <clears throat> the dreamer is to help you take that leap of faith to follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities coming your, your way and you've been upset because things have not turned out the way you wanted them to. Not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilt milk. The divine is trying to bring positivity in your life and unfortunately we humans a lot of times get attached to the way things are going or what they should be doing or how we should move forward if we're going to 
the divine has different ideas that can get you somewhere a lot faster than you previously anticipated, my Capricorn friends. Oh, my cards are upside down again, or some of them are. So, someone might be moving to a new home or place of employment. There's a new job opportunity coming your way, entirely possible. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So, what about this positive new energy? You need to take that leap of faith. You need to go about doing that. And then we get the Five of Cups crying over spilt milk. What's that about? Let's see. It's about the Eight of Pentacles buckling down and getting the work done. Maybe it's about a job offer you were hoping to get, but you got a lesser offer and it's not impressing you much. The Divine is saying your Nine of Cups is here, but I just don't think you see it. Taking a leap of faith after being stabbed in the heart by hope, faith, and trust. You put a lot of time, effort, and love into something and all of a sudden it ends. It's like, what the actual F is going on here? Hey, my Capricorn friends, what's this happy move about? Ah, oh, it's about speaking a truth to somebody that they may not like very much. So, and we have six of wands. In doing so, it actually brings victory to you. Perhaps someone's going to be moving out of a home where they've had a relationship with somebody. Or you're moving to a new job and this information that's coming towards you that could be challenging to deal with. It's still going to bring a victory. Yeah, a huge victory. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here. This is this is a brand new idea as well, possibly about how to tame a situation or a, a way of thinking, how to change that that's actually going to bring about a lot of abundance for you guys and victory. So a move to a new job possibly and... Or a home place of employment and then we have the three of Pentacles it's about learning growing being a team player it's about maybe you're putting your foot down and saying hey either be a team player and work with me or we're not gonna work at all so it's been swell you go ahead and do your thing and I'll go ahead and do mine this could be in business this could be in relationships it can be in any situation you guys let me know if this resonates for you down below and I hope you have a great July blessings <laughs>